Good morning, everyone. How are you today? We are going to find our pattern. Make sure you're at pattern-collections.com. That's where you're going to find today's pattern. I am in the pattern focus section, and I'm going to just scroll down to... Uh, let's see, we just did koi fish. We want this one. Seashell day. <clears throat> Shell and pearl. Now I've already done a video on shell and pearl some time ago. I did that one, which I think came out really cool. You can tell it's a really old video because I don't have my... I, it was before I figured out how to do thumbnails, so yeah. I don't have a finished picture. It's sort of in between. Um, and then uh, Mimi has also done it. <clears throat> So instead of doing it on a square like I did before, I am going to um, do it more long, like like a bookmark. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Congested today. It's an easy one. Let me get bigger. Okay. So first thing we are going to do is we're going to do a straight line or... It could be a curvy line, it doesn't matter. We're going to do a line, and on that line, we're going to make a wave. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two is on that wave, we are going to do feathering right here, just like that. And then step number three, we're going to turn it around and do feathering going the other way on the other curve. Do, 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 do. And then in between all those feathering bits, we're going to put a round circle. And then we're going to put a little highlight catch right like that to make it look like a pearl. And since it's sort of a straight line or a ribbon tangle, I am going to just do it on like a bookmark because I haven't done a bookmark shape in a really long time. Uh, so uh, we're going to do that. Let's turn on my light. And do I need a border? I don't think I do. Although, I mean, let me draw myself a border. I might keep a border. Let me just make myself a little pencil border. You never know what I might do. I might decide to use it. Okay. So, draw with an O2 size pen. And I'm going to make this line, but I'm, I am think I'm going to make it slightly curved so that it's not completely straight. I'm going to do that. So not all of those are going to be exactly straight. And then, let's do the feathering going this way. Like that. Okay, give me just a second. I gotta close my windows. The neighbors have come out into their backyard. Don't need to record their conversation. There we go. More feathering. Feathering is one of those really easy things to do. Super simple. 
just like that. And then I'm going to go this way. Just like so. Easy peasy. You guys can do this. We've got this super simple. Just like that. And then on this side, we're going to make our pearl. Start here. And you know what? I think I'm going to put more than one because I got lots of room here. I've got plenty of room for pearls, so I'm going to make more than one pearl. Why not? Right? Why not? Okay. I like that. Okay. Now, I want to do a little bit of shading. Where'd my pencil go? I've lost my pencil. How can I lose a pencil? I've got so many of them. Actually, let me use this one. It's got my pencil extender on it. I want to use up this stub. I love these pencil extenders. You guys have one of these? Um, it just has this little collar on it. It's just the thing that you stick your pencil down inside here, and as you push this, it tightens that little bit so it can hold a variety of thicknesses. One end is thicker than the other. Like on this end, this pencil wouldn't fit because it's it's too loose. Even when I close it all the way, it doesn't fit. But I could put a thicker thing like a, a crayon or something in that end. But it makes it so that it's easier to hang on to your stubby little pencil. I'm going to put a little bit of shading right there. Those are the spots I like to put shading when I do a feathering. I like to do it down here where they all come together and right here where they kind of overlap. I don't know if you can, you're kind of far away. Let's zoom you in a bit. I like to do it right here on the ends. And right here in the middle. Just like that. And then um, we're going to make our our pearls have a shadow this way. I like to make them all going the same direction, so it doesn't really matter which direction I make the shadow, as 
long as they're all going the same direction so that my pearls don't look like they're, some of them are right side up and some are upside down. That, and you need the, the light will always reflect in the same spot. I didn't put the little white or the little thing for the reflection because I'm going to just do that with white pencil. You could do that shape, the, the little reflection shape, which is like, like that. Maybe I'll put it on the, a couple of them, just the bigger ones. But I'm going to go ahead and put white there anyway, so I really don't need it. But if you were doing it on white paper and you didn't have that option to put a white highlight, absolutely go ahead and uh, draw those little bits in. Just make sure they're all on the same size side of your bubble. If you're going to put them on the right or the left, doesn't really make any difference. Just make them all on the same side. Top, bottom, whichever. But you do want, if you're going to highlight that, you want that highlight on the opposite side of where you put your shadow. Because your, your dark shadow would be opposite that little highlight spot. Okay, so let's do the white pencil. I'm going to do a little highlights on the top of these little feathering bits because I always like that. And then right there on the pearl. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this area of that pearl. Just like that. little bit of highlights like so and then I think I am going to go ahead and make my border because I think it'll look, it'll look good. With a nice border. So let's do the 07. Nice big fat chunky boy. 07 I think is the biggest of the tips that I have. And I'm going to just follow that pencil line that I made. Just like that. Some of it came out from beyond that border and that is absolutely okay. I like when my design breaks the border. Like that. Now we need 
to sign it, we need to put the name. Um, I really like it going this way. But you can't read it that way. I'll do it like this. Shell and pearl, and it's seashell day. Okay, can you see the whole thing? Do I have to make it a little crooked? I probably do. Let me zoom it out a bit. There you go. All right, you can see the whole thing. It was quick and easy. Super simple one to do. I enjoyed myself. Um, I will see you on the next video. We're going to do hydration day next, next time. So I'm going to have a week full of watery themed patterns. They would be cool to put all together in one, one pattern. Put some of these pearls and a fish from the koi and then the queasy from the next one, all in one, one thing. They would, they would go really well together. Anyways, that's all that I have for today. It's going to be a quick, easy one. Um, no stress today. Today, is, today I've determined is going to be a stress-free day. We'll see how that happens. I have to go to work later today. But so far this morning, I'm making it a stress-free day. And um, hope that you have one as well. Go ahead and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.